we wake? Hear the birds and see the sun. Hi, and welcome back to Before You and I Get Any Older. Welcome back to Edinburgh. I am still in the UK and I'll show you exactly how it looks like and what I do. I want to address a couple things. In the UK, it's extremely important to look at the energy rating before you rent a flat. Because when I looked at the rating of my beautiful, beautiful flat, I saw it's D. Meaning it's, first of all, it's one glazed windows. As you can see, it's just one glaze and, well, you can open quite easily. But the problem is that whenever you put the heating on, it goes out very quickly. So even if you put it to, let's say, 22 degrees, it will stay like that for an hour as long as it's keep running. Once you turn it off, it's gonna go down. Another thing is that is these holes. So basically they're in between the window and the floor. And when I put my hand to that, there is a lot of air coming out from there. So that's another thing that keeps my flat quite cold. Well, if you're coming from a country where you never even thought of how much it will cost you to pay for the electricity, here you will care because it's the matter of hundreds of pounds a month. I'm paying anywhere between 100 to 200 pounds a month for my heating, electricity, for everything, but it's almost 200 pounds a month. Whereas, for example, in Canada, I would pay around 20 to 30 pounds a month. In Russia, it's 10 pounds. Now that we're done with the energy talks, let me show you the beautiful Edinburgh. Also note that I live in the city center of Edinburgh, which is not a quite a luxury in here because the Edinburgh itself is quite a small city. It only has one big main street where there are all the shops are called Princess Street and that's where the castle is. It's all around, like the whole city is around the castle. So whenever you say, oh, I live by the castle, it means you live in a city center. There's so many student accommodations around and it's not as expensive as in other UK cities, but I would consider that to be the most beautiful place in the whole UK, if not in the whole world. So let's go. Oh, quick interruption. By the way, many of the houses doesn't have elevators we used to in America or anywhere else. So you have to take the stairs. Yeah, that's the problems that I have to live with every single day. As you can see, it's as gloomy as rainy as they say in the news. And it's absolutely cold. So even in the winter, I'm wearing just one piece of clothing. So whenever you're here, come and visit me. So it took me around three minutes to get to the castle. As I said, I live by the castle and it's such a beautiful area to live in. Well, because it's the city center. That's how it looks like. And that's the Princess Street, just the beginning of it. I think everyone is out today because it's such a beautiful day. Uh, it's plus 15 and it's sunny and it's March. So the Princess Gardens, which divides the old town, which is over there, and the new town, which is over here. And it's situated right along the Princess Street, the main street. So whenever you want to get to anything at the end of the Princess Street, what I do is to walk through these beautiful gardens to hide from the noise over there. And well, I'm walking towards Starbucks right now because technically everything else is closed, even every other independent coffee shop. And here you can enjoy the birds, the castle, the fountain, and a lot of other people because it's very sunny, as I said today, and everyone is out. Also, how unique is that to have house right in the gardens look it's right at the end of the gardens and you have the view of the whole gardens and your garden is the royal gardens that's incredible i wonder if it's for sale this is another famous street with all the famous boutique stores as well as harvey nichols and this is a very tiny street especially for the opulence of tourists who come to britain this is the only luxury street in edinburgh with luxury shops like burberry louis vuitton michael kors and stuff like that and it's quite a peaceful street so whenever there is a chaos on the princess street this is a nice alternative for walking for 30 seconds walk but it's okay we all pick our bottles this is the other side of the princess street so the end of it down there it's the very station and the reason why i'm showing you this is because of that it's the hill the arthur sit hill and then there is another hill there's so many hills that you can climb despite any restrictions whenever i feel bored i get my starbucks i go for a walk along the streets and then i go there and this is just like 10 minutes walk from here and 20 minutes up and you have your exercise for the day done i feel like this whole video is about me going for starbucks and i achieved my goal i just want to show you a bit more of how princess street looks like 
This used to be next, I think. It closed down. The only thing she could do in Edinburgh because it's not a city where you get bored when everything is closed because she's located in the middle of nature, in the middle of so many different hikes and that's what you have to take advantage of. I'm enjoying my time here. Enjoy and have a good day. Bye. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good Once you go over this fence, uh, there are two routes that you can take One is this one and the second one is right there This one is longer because you have to go all the way around and this one goes straight and then you turn to go in between two big hills. So I think I'm gonna take this one. And look how close the sheep are. It's incredible, isn't it? It took me around 50 minutes to get here by bus, bus 101. And it drops you right in the beginning of the trail. You can't see it from here. But look how cool is that? Look how close I am to the sheep. I think this one is the skull law. They told me it's gonna take two hours and a half to get to another stop to flutter in Hotel. That's where it, the buses are. Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon. Sorry, the wind made it impossible to hear, but I was saying that it's better to go through these two hills as the goal was the distance and not the height. Let's update how it looks right before turning to Carnathy Hill. Look at that, it's so beautiful, but a little bit steep. I was riding taking this road because this is the most scenic road, but this is the most difficult, that's why it's scenic. I had to climb one hill I'm on right now, and then right now I need to climb this hill. After that, it goes downhill and straight walk, but it takes a lot of energy. Holiday walk, four hours. Very beautiful though. Ladies and gentlemen, Carnathy. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright I'm home. I didn't film the rest because the walk itself downhill became quite dangerous for me to do both. It was not only steep to go down but also it was filled with lots of rocks and stones and just very muddy surface. Walking shoes is necessary. I had waterproof hiking boots. Half of them were always in mud because it was such a wet walk down. Without them I'm not sure if I would be able to actually go down this way. So to go down it took me maybe around 30 minutes. The path itself is not paved, it's very entertaining, but once you reach the normal path, that took me 40 minutes to get to the Flotter Stone Inn Hotel where there is another bus stop. I arrived at the Silverburn to complete the whole walk. I had to do two hills and then walk another 40 minutes to Flotter Stone Inn. So it took me maybe two hours and a half. I just took the same bus 101 and it took me to Edinburgh. You're quite fit and fast you'll do it way faster. For me, I like to take it slow, so for me it was a bit slower, more enjoyable process. The walk itself is definitely very beautiful, very scenic. I made another stop in the park, but it's usually 30 minutes by bus from Pentland to get back to Edinburgh. And I stopped in this beautiful park. It's called Braid Hills Park. But also look at this view. Oh, even in the hot gym as much as I do. They have this little outdoor equipment area. Only like leg press and something for arms, something for your abs. It's only body weight but at least something and it's better than nothing. I hope to see you soon and I hope you enjoy Edinburgh like I do. Bye! Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. Please subscribe and hit the like button because it helps me out to produce the same videos as I did today and I would love to hear your comments about the things you want to see, the other videos that you have in mind. So yeah, see you soon, bye! Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon.